Mr. Jeff Barron is a famous playwright. He's also a screenwriter. He writes for ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox, and Nickelodeon. His newest project you're going to learn about today is the Sean Rosen book series. Thank you. I went to Brianna's house after school to work on our math homework together. Well, I was going to work on it and she was going to copy it when I finished. A few minutes later, her dad walked into the kitchen. I knew it was her dad because he looks like Brianna. Her mom doesn't, but maybe that's because she keeps getting things changed on her face. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, uh, I'm Sean. I'm Brianna's friend. Whose kid are you? I actually don't think you know my parents. How do you know who I know? I, I don't. Uh, do you know Jack and Elise Rosen? No. See? <laughs> Whatever you're doing here... Math. How about doing it somewhere else? Oh, okay. It's all just gigantic trees. I can't see the house anymore. Wait a minute, I just remembered. I have my phone. I can text Brianna. <laughs> the multimedia. I loved how you saw the texts appear on the screen. You heard the voices of the different characters and just the way the podcasts linked into the story and the story linked into the podcasts. I thought that was so cool and the kids seemed really excited about it and I came right upstairs and ordered some books. Who in here has ever made a video? Raise your hand. Wow, most of you. Okay, I'm going to show you um, some of Sean's videos. It's Sean Rosen's podcast. I want a donut. I want it now. I want to bite into a donut so my brain will go pow. It's a donut. It's delicious. How come they're so good? I'm suspicious. It's Sean Rosen's podcast. Say hello to your dog the way you would when you first come home. Lulu Bell, hey Lulu Bell. What's up, Doogie? What's up, my dog? Baby girl, how's my baby girl? Oh, did you miss me? Huh? Come here, come here, come here. Come here, Scarlet, come here. Come back here. Get over here. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Oh, I love you so much. If you can see the cover of the second book, there's a dog on the cover. And we, what we learn about Sean Rosen is that he wants a dog. Hi, Sean. As you can see, Baxter is very excited about your walk. Oh, good. I am too. I usually take him out by now, but since I knew you were going to, I didn't. I was kind of hoping that Mrs. Dallin had already taken Baxter out to do his business, so he and I could just have a nice relaxing walk. Oh well. If you can, have him poop in the street, you know, instead of on someone's lawn. Did you bring a bag? A bag? For the poop. <laughs> oh, um, actually I didn't. Don't worry, here you go. Take three, just in case. Three? I think one of the things that made it the most unique was the part where um, Jeff had the voice coming from the screen, the characters' voices were speaking, and so he was doing, he was talking, and they were talking as if they were actually in the room together. One thing that I always like to do with all of my writing, whether it's a paper for class, or whether it's an email that I'm gonna send, or it's even a text message that I'm going to send, I force myself to read it out loud. It's a very good way to see what you have and to see what the person who's going to get it is going to hear when they read it. And you almost always find things that, you know, you thought, you thought that was a sentence, but it isn't really a sentence. I'm really excited to read this book and I think the presentation was amazing. What I really enjoy is watching the kids' reaction to the whole presentation. He also made it a lot of fun by just talking about his own experience as a writer 
and how they could use absolute tools in their schoolwork even if it wasn't actually a creative writing assignment. He did a presentation today and I thought it was really good. It was really funny.